Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to build a beautiful responsive web image gallery in around five minutes. So let's go. First of all, we are going to go to juicebox.net, which is the home of Juicebox, which is the application we're going to use to build our web gallery. First of all, we're going to click Get Juicebox, which will take us to the download page. And from here, we're going to select the free version, Juicebox Lite. Hit the download button. And you'll see uh, the zip file downloads to my desktop. So now I am going to expand that zip file. And it's going to give me a folder. In here, you're going to see we have a README. We have a sample web gallery. And we have the installer file for Juicebox Builder. So we're going to double click this to install the Juicebox Builder app. Now the Juicebox Builder app does require the Adobe Air framework. Uh, this is a free framework by Adobe and um, if you need to install that then uh, there's a link to it in the readme file. In this case I already have the app in installed so I'm just going to hit run now. And here is Juicebox Builder Lite. So you'll see um, there are four simple steps to create an image gallery. So uh, first of all, we're going to create a new gallery. We're going to hit the new gallery button. And now we get the option to load images from Flickr or from the local hard drive. In this case, we're going to load it from the hard drive. So I will just select my images that I want to use in my gallery and just drag them in. Juicebox Builder. The Juicebox Builder is going to process those images. It's going to resize them for the web. It's going to create thumbnails and all the other files required for a web gallery. Um, you can drag and drop these images, the thumbnails, to change the order of the images. Uh, you can also um, select an image and then set the title. My first image. And you can give an image a caption. This is a caption. Now, once you have the images you like, you can go to the Customize tab. And this is basically going to give you a preview of how your Juicebox Gallery is going to look. And in the light version, you have some options here to set. So you can give it a gallery title, gallery title. You can change some colors. Uh, so let's give it a gray background and maybe some yellow text. And you also have a choice of which uh, buttons you want to display up here. <clears throat> so let's turn off the open button so that people can't easily download gallery images. Once you have the gallery looking how you want it to look, you go to the Publish tab. And this is going to allow you to save the gallery to your desktop. So let's choose a folder. I'm going to call it Test Gallery. Then we're going to hit Save. And that's it. Your gallery is created. Now, if we want to preview the gallery locally, there are a couple of ways to do that. The easiest way is just to drag it into a browser. So you'll see the test gallery folder on the desktop. Inside here are all the files you need for your image gallery. Uh, this is the folder that you're going to upload to your website to make your gallery public. So let's just drag that index file, the HTML file into Safari. So we can preview it locally. And this is a uh, full browser Juicebox image gallery um, showing the uh, image title, caption, gallery title, thumbnail toggle button. Um, and this is it. This is your image gallery. What we're not going to show is how to FTP this to your uh, web server. Uh, I'm going to assume that you know how to do that. The other thing to know about Juicebox Galleries is that they work on all devices. Uh, that includes um, Android, iPhone, 
uh, pretty much every browser that's out there. So to show that, let's um, bring up iOS Simulator. So this is uh, this is basically allows you to see what's how an iPhone works on your desktop. So this is how the gallery looks uh, on an iPhone. You'll see because the screen is smaller, you got a simplified interface. So we have the thumbnails up front, and then you can click one of these images to go into that image. Probably going to want to rotate your phone into landscape mode to see these photos better. Uh, you can click the thumbnails button to go back to thumb mode. And uh, yeah, we'll just it just works out of the box. And that's it. There's a couple of other things to be aware of if you're going to be using Juicebox. If you do not want to use uh, Juicebox Builder app, there is also the option to use um, some of the plugins we have uh, for other applications such as Photoshop, Lightroom, WordPress, and Picasa. Uh, so these are going to allow you to build galleries quickly from any of these apps. Uh, the other thing to, to know about is um, Juicebox Pro, which is the paid version, and um, Juicebox Pro has a, a whole load of extra features, um, has a ton more customization options, um, sharing options, um, and various other uh, features. So check it out, juicebox.net. And I hope this is useful. Um, so good luck building your first image gallery.